Good morning, guys. We're getting ready to leave for work, but look what I got up here. I started a video on this. We are actually going to fix this trailer before we fix the other one because it is lighter, but I explained that in the video about when I'm fixing this. But that might not be up for another week because I'm working on it. I have until this weekend. I got to get this trailer fixed so we have a trailer to mow. Good morning, boss. Good morning. Yeah, I think it's morning still. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. And you're watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. And we're back at the wall project, guys. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, if you're new subscribers, go back like 10 videos, maybe 20, mm -hmm. and start from there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That'll be the whole project we're going through. We built the wall. Mm -hmm. We put plantings in, most of them. And today we're coming to use a farm jack, right? Mm -hmm to figure out if we can get these boxwood shrubs. They were monsters. We recorded that too. Rachel cut them all back. Yeah, I was trying to make topiaries. It just didn't work. Yeah, and we didn't keep them. No, we were supposed to pull them out anyway. Yeah. So we're going to hope the farm jack works. I only have my climbing rope, um, so I don't think it's going to... Hopefully it'll hold. I'm going to wrap it a couple of times. It's not a chain. Yeah, other people have used chains. Yeah, but so. I, I don't have a heavy-duty chain. Um, so we're going to try with the rope and see what happens. Oh. Um, they should come out fairly easy. Ew. And then we have a little bit of mulch we're going to throw up around some of these plantings. We're supposed to get a lot of rain. To probably 4 o'clock this afternoon. So hopefully we can get back out and fertilize some and do some more of that mulch project. Um, and then... Tomorrow should be good. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to try then, to do more fertilizing too. Then rain all day Wednesday. Wednesday. So that's why we want to try to... So I'm actually... I am welcoming the rain because stuff is budding already. And with us doing mulch... Yeah. <laughs> my allergies, yay. Oh all yeah, there. all the old mulch, you can hear the boss's throat's a little raspy. Because yeah. Because we were on the big 75-yard mulch. We're taking mulch away. And it's really, really moldy yeah. and stuff, so... And it was... Yesterday was the worst. So, no, I was not yelling at my children. <laughs> and and the... the um Wearing a mask... Yeah, it helps, but it's hard to it sit doesn't. there and mulch that much with... It, I mean, it, it really... You guys know that it doesn't help 100%. It deters it a little bit. But, I mean, I still... I know this is TMI, but when you blow your nose after mulching... It's gross. Yeah, and stuff. You have it all in your lungs. Yeah. Stuff. So you know that's in your lungs, too. So, I mean, you just have to try. And no, I'm not going to wear, like, a respirator thing because that's silly. No, I think just a cloth, like, one of these probably, yeah. again, when we're doing that much mulch. But we never learn our lesson and we just get the mulch group. Well, I am going to wear one today because we are going to be working and we have to get all the mulch around from Boxwoods first. Um, and then there were, there was also peppermint and chrysanthemums in another bed and I already ripped them out, but there's still a layer of mulch. So we're going to work okay. on moving that first. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, and that will just help amend the hill more because you guys see what the hill is made of. <laughs> Nothing but pan, sir, pan dirt now that we dug it up and yeah. yucky clay. Uh, it's not clay. It's like no, a sandy, it's like sand, hard material. Hard, rock. Yeah not fun to work in but, but so amendment amending as much as possible and then the mulch breaking down over this year you know over several years we should be able to turn the soil around where it will be easier to plant in but and if you guys don't know double ground pine that's what we use pretty much that's what we love to use unless they run out of it um a lot of people use the hardwood mulch. My opinion, with hardwood mulch, the color doesn't stay as long as the double ground pine. Mm -hmm. um, and also, when you go and get soil amendments for your plants and stuff, usually it's pine fines. Double ground pine, pine fines, and stuff like that. That tends not to deplete your soil of the nitrogen when it's breaking down as much as like a hardwood that's not like cut it's chunky and stuff it, that kind of actually when it's breaking down it robs your soil of nitrogen so yeah. but we like to use the double ground pine because it acts as a soil conditioner and it doesn't sit there for two it's not good to have mulch not break down for two or three years i yeah. mean you don't Hard have to you don't have to down. mulch your yard but it's not healthy for the soil yeah um and it just doesn't look good over time so we like to use double ground pine and it tends to break down and turn into um, soil and i have another quick question hopefully you guys will answer we need as much feedback as possible 
would you guys be interested in us doing a live talking all about mulch? Yeah. Just like prices so that you guys can ask questions, you know, right there with us live. Yeah. Um, so if you are interested in that, please let us know. And then we will schedule a day and stick to that day so that everybody knows and well, um, yeah, maybe in. we'll talk about the big 75 yards, what we're charging and yeah. how much we charge for mulch. And because stuff. I'm sure that there's also homeowners that are very curious. I mean, if you guys are getting a quote, um, you want to know, you know, what should you be looking at? And, and there's different levels on how people do mulch. Uh, some people don't put edges in. Nothing against people who don't put edges in. It doesn't look as clean over time as mm -hmm. putting edges in, but... Everybody does their things the way they do their things. Yeah. Right. So just let us know if you guys want to have a, a mulch live. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some okay. done. So this is what we're working on. We don't want to dig out the patio and have to drag all this stuff across. And we're not going to take down the fence. So we need to try to get these four. There's four of them out. And then we're going to pull a lot of this stuff in here. The old mulch that's here. And we are going to put it up on the hill. Um with the rest of this stuff. I need to come and get some screws to screw this down here. So it's actually screwed down along the top here. And then we're gonna backfill all this. I don't think I, I don't know if I brought my, no, I left it at home. So we're gonna have to redo this one. Okay. So I am gonna come over here and rake some of this stuff onto here all the mulch off and you just rake all the dirt into the grass. Yeah. Oh. That's all. There's not that much mulch. A lot of it's just dirt. Yeah. Once you get the top layer on. I wasn't allowed to touch the rope, you guys. I have poison ivy again. And we don't know where I got that. No, I don't know if it's poison ivy. It might be something else this time. But I think you're allergic to everything. Something I'm allergic to, for sure. So Carl forbids me to touch the rope now. I'm sorry. Did you really want to touch it? No, it's okay. I don't even know if a rope is going to work anymore. So, Hopefully. we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay guys, the boss made me go buy a chain so she can chain me to this job until I'm done. She said I'm taking too long. So she's gonna chain me to the wall until I'm done working. Yeah. You gotta give me more than eight feet though, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. So we're gonna see if the chain works. Hopefully, if not, the employee's resorting to the hard work. But we'll see, we'll see. Do we have that? Right? Mm-hmm. 
says 1,900 pounds, guys. How many pounds do you think this this farm's acts what 2,000 pounds? Um, 6,000. Really? Yeah, three ton. Huh. So the chain will definitely break before the jam. That's a big stump, you guys. Okay, we hear it breaking now. I think this next one it might be. What one? This one. This is Happy's Gym. <laughs> Happy's Gym. Wow, look. You can see how big it is. I mean, it's... Wow. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It's a good sign. I'm amazed how big these things are. There we go. I mean, I had no idea that boxwood roots were that massive. Massive. Look at how big they are. Carl actually admitted that he wouldn't have been able to dig these out. <laughs> he would have been exhausted. That's for sure. Like a baby. Yeah. I was already a little bit. Yeah. Well, it wasn't as easy as you thought it would be. It's not as easy as a machine. But, again, we explained. No, look. No place to get it. No place to get it. No way. Not even getting it, the logistics. Yeah. Bring it. A bigger one. I can see it. Oh, did it break now? Something broke. Right there. Yeah. Uh, I saw it coming. The dirt was coming up there. That's why I said I could tell that there was one more. <laughs> wow, look at this thing. Yeah. Huge. Oh. Oh, that's their drain. Nuh uh. Yeah. From that gutter. From what? That's the drain from the gutter. Not bad, not bad. That's two down. Guys, I put some mulch here from out of the truck. I don't think we're gonna make it back. I mean, make it to the other project. 
this took me a little longer than I thought it was going to take, but it was a lot easier than we would have been digging. So we're going to bring these next time. We're going to bring back the dolly to tow these, but uh, we're done for over here. We got all them out. Oh, that was a feat. It stinks that it's going to rain. I wanted to do some mulch, but I guess that ain't going to happen. It's actually drizzling right now, but... Okay, let's go. Let me just get a little wet. Carl said there's a lot of rain coming. Rachel wanted to go back out to work. I told her it's, it's going to rain. I didn't realize, oh yeah, I see it getting really windy all of a sudden. And or when I we were leaving, yeah, when we were leaving Asheville, like we looked behind us and the skies were dark, dark, dark. So we're just going to be done for the day. I'll probably go in the morning and do, mm -hmm. get up some grass clippings and do some mulch. and then. Well, we'll I can come with you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're lucky this week because um, Kayla's on spring break. So, so the, instead of partying down at spring break, she came home to help break. I know. Teach. What a good kid. <laughs> she is such a good kid. But, um, yeah, the kids were like, oh, well, we should have spring break with Kayla. And I'm like, listen, you only school for a couple hours and s spring madness is coming for us. So coming. I think it's already here. Yeah, pretty much. But... You know, like, it just, it's going to get really, really busy because we're going to have one mulch job after another, after another, in between mowing and treatments. All, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. So, if they can get stuff done still um, this week, then then I'm going to make them, have them get stuff done. I actually even been throwing the idea around. And if there is anybody else that homeschools, um, I do know... And I can't quite remember her name now, but somebody did email me and I was very, very thankful because you actually were the one who gave me the courage to know that I could homeschool. Um, and it's been going really well. So I appreciate it because I always thought like, no, there's not enough time in the day. You know, we work so much, but um, they learn so much in just a couple hours and I, the youngest, our nine-year-old, um, he's awesome. He, like, will just go on tangents. So, um, that's what I like. You know, they're learning more than even what I'm presenting to them. So. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, how'd you like learning to use a farm jack? Yeah, that, that was interesting, right, you guys? Has anybody ever used a farm jack? And Let us know in... I thought I seen a chicken, but maybe not. Yeah, probably. Let yeah. us know in the comments if you ever used a farm jack. Now, I do know after using it today, we didn't have things to do what I thought of doing on the way home. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole in the top of that farm jack. And I'm going to get a heavy-duty pin and then two heavy-duty steel bars that will go down into like a mm -hmm. flat plate on each end. Almost like a tripod. Yeah. Because the problem with it is, you'll see, as we were doing it, it was pulling down. So if I have a pin at the top with two poles coming down to make it a tripod, it'll be able to stabilize it and help it pull it straight up out of the ground right. instead of tilting down. So, so I told you that's kind of what I saw a couple people do is kind of turn it into a tripod thing. But, but that's only... a good idea to with the pin because then we could always just take the pin out right yeah, and, and still use the jack and yeah um and so it wasn't too bad it took us a few hours to get all four of them out like three hours to get all four of them out but if i after getting them out if i were trying to dig them out it would have been all day and i would have been out of energy completely because yeah. they were pretty them boxwoods we've been mowing that yard for 10 11 years now and they were big when we started so mm. they they were put there when the development was put in yeah so just as um, reference for you guys, you know, boxwoods are definitely one of those that have like really huge stumps. Really huge roots it's, that spread Yeah, out. there's like, you know, there's some things that would come out easily. Like we actually even removed two Pieris, right? Oh, yeah. And their roots were not as deep as the boxwoods. Yeah. Um, what so, it is, the box would send out a bunch of big roots, and then it had all these millions of little micro roots that were running around, and those were the problem. It kept, it had all the soil together with it, and it didn't want to pull. Yeah. So. So the moral of this story is obviously a machine would have been much easier and quicker and 
less stressful on your body but you guys saw the area it just was not feasible and machines are not always feasible no. in everybody's yard um so the farm jack really was the next best thing i don't yeah. it would have been extremely hard without it so yeah to dig them out and pull and pull them out of the hole and stuff Ooh. Yeah. so hopefully you guys learned something if you guys already knew how to do that yeah or you if you guys have any other advice for us um using a farm jack like constructive criticism yeah. Cr constructive criticism though well i like how um i think i saw somebody post don't be a bully yeah that is like perfect like don't be a bully we gosh there is so much going on in the world today we really don't need to bully our friends but brandon that are supposed brandon's to... not a bully guy no no he, brandon is not he's a, bully. a really good um commenter he's been commenting for a while yeah. um, i think he just accidentally wrote it yeah, twice, twice so, so um he's not a bully we did no, not take it we as appreciate a bully. your yeah, comments brandon. we do so. so all right everybody so thanks for watching please like comment share and subscribe and be happy or at least try have a good night i'm going to drink some honey and tea <laughs> i'm sorry boss but you don't feel sick it's just no it's, from it's the allergies. yeah it definitely i do i feel fine just know that you guys i do feel fine it's just um this is how allergies hit me i guess so, <laughs> so, well have a good night, have a good guys. night